People, you ready for this? You ready for this? Oi! Do not go anywhere! reverse camera so I have not a clue what I'm doing but you know I'm gonna stay on it and let's get straight to it reverse camera whole car taken apart problem missing one tool mm -mm. bad choice hello 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 everyone welcome back to Carl is on it today we're going to be installing a reverse camera as you can see now this the other video was cut short because I actually was in a underground car park and that place closes at a certain time and also I, need, I needed one tool to remove a one particular piece now that tool was all the way at the other side of the country to, and I lent it out to my mum basically and so I had to come all the way here to get it so I came to see her as well at the same time as well as do a video and there's a car right there so whilst I'm there I might as well clean the car as well you know so yeah, so I'm cleaning my car now and as well people have been saying Carl, where is this reverse camera video? Today is the day people, today is that day So let's get straight to that So people, I'm going to show you the setup of how to connect this reverse camera to ensure it works So what you're going to need to do is you're going to connect this bit, this piece here to the boot Okay, so that's once you open the boot, take everything out You connect, you replace your boot panel piece with this piece This will allow your boot to open, I believe um, yeah, then this is the one of the power cables You're gonna need to connect this To this red port here. Yeah, connect that to that red port there There we go, let's connect that to that then By the way all this you're doing you're gonna have to wire it all the way through the car too so Then you're gonna need to connect this piece this um, female cable to the male cable. Now, why right, it's called female, you can have a guess. Anyway, um, and the male, you can have a guess. Anyway, um, yeah, so you connect that to that. So use as any of the two, you can use any of these two, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'll connect this one to that, like that. There we go, like that. Then, what you're going to do is, this piece here, I've already stripped some of the wire off, guys. This is the first time I ever did wiring, and it was quite cool, actually, when I did it, because I actually managed to get it to work from, as you can see it at the start of the video. Do not go anywhere! And that was really, really interesting. I was so excited when that happened. So basically, you strip off this red piece here, as you can see. It's a red wire, so I had to split this from there. As you can see, I split that from that. And then I stripped off the top piece from there. And then what you're going to do is connect this to that. Connect that to that. And then you seal it up. So you can do that. Um, I think a safe way to do it is use a connector. Um, yeah, so as long as these two are in contact, metal, metal, the wires are in contact with each other, that would work from there. And then you need to, the final bit is when you route all of that through the car into the actual head unit and then you pull the pieces up and there will be one where you can do the final piece where you'll be able to connect that to that as well as connect this port to the female port inside the head unit so pretty much how you do it people yeah so watch me through to it I'll try and get as much lighting as I can um, it is, the lighting is it's okay but it could be better. Anyway, at least there is light to actually see what I'm doing. As long as I can see what I'm doing, that's what it matters. And I'll try and ensure that you guys can see what I'm doing too. So, without further ado, let's get straight to it. So, here is the reverse camera, as you can see. Integrated. That's currently a sticker on there, so you can... Or a cover sort of thing, so I can remove that straight away after. Um, so, this is basically an integrated reverse camera, so it's part of your boot. So, what we need to do is... Let's be following that now people can see there we go at least there's light you have to take the boot panel out the boot handle out so to take the boot handle out we're going to need to 
get into this bit here. So we've got bolt here, bolt here. You pry them out basically. I'll leave a link in the description for the pry tools I'm going to use for this. One there as well, there here. So you just take this whole covering off basically. And then afterwards, we're going to have to um, unscrew that from inside. Um, and then you wrap the wire from here inside there. We're going to have to go into here as well. So we've got um, a bolt there here. Um, we can see some wires through there. Guys, basically, I'm just, this is all just guesstimate work at the moment. So I'm first time ever in Sony reverse camera to a car. So yeah, I'm just giving it a go and seeing how it goes really. So we're just going to get straight on it really. But let's do this. So let us get into this piece here without further ado. So to get to this piece, we're going to need to move this whole panel here. Um, link in the description for all these prime tools I'm going to use. So, so this is what the pieces look like and um, to put it back I believe it's one like that and then you seal it with this hole here like that so this goes in first this one goes first with the hole and you pop this one back in that's how you put it back together but we'll do all that when we finish so I'm just going to leave that to a side and that'll give us access to that and then we'll just do the rest for all of them. So to do ones that are awkward like this, you just have to keep wiggling like that. There we go. Next one here. I've just removed all of them now. So one thing you need to do is remove the emergency bar. This is your emergency bar. And if you break down, you place that about 100 meters away. Um, and now I've got two, two screwdriver screws to unscrew. As you can see, I've unscrewed all those bolts all around. Once you unscrew these two, this will be able to come out. So I'm going to unscrew that now. So as you can see, I've just unscrewed that now. Everything's now coming apart. So that way you guys can see every single thing now that's been done and how to remove. All you have to do is pry into here. So I use my flatted screwdriver. One second, as you can see, tape dipper as well from the edge so I don't scratch the paint wet. So I just pried that, and now you can just remove the actual thing. So I'm going to put this on my head so I can carry on. So I just pried it out now. Here we go. So let's remove this, and I believe to remove it, we're going to have to, same as always, just a quick pull like that, and that's out. And most importantly, we need to connect this one in order to open the boot. So let's just test to see if this works firstly. Uh, pop that there. This is the first, this is the most important thing. If you can't open your boot, you're already screwed. Hey! As you can see, the mechanism works. There we go. So, so I'm going to remove the covering. There we go. Looks a lot better now. And now, just clean the area up. So I'm going to Firstly, plug it in. Give me the wire. Yeah, mate, this. There we go. Pop that into there. Test it again. There we go. Working. Pop these wires through. Yeah, there we go. That's all we need. That's all we need from that. And now we can now pop this in. This is an important bit because you want to make sure it's sealed. If it's not sealed, then water's going to get through to it and you're going to absolutely ruin your everything, basically. So otherwise it'll pop through. And now it's a matter of sealing this boot, whole boot panel here. There we go. So you're meant to slot it in like that. So to slot it, basically you pop it in like that. As you can see, the shape goes in like that. And then pop like that, like that. And I believe you should clip. That's one clip. There should be another click as well for good measure. There we go. It's just popping in nicely. So, basically, to put the camera in, to do it flush, right? You need to firstly tuck it into that side and push it right in into that side. 
and next you just make sure the whole weather ceiling is all all secure around it as you can see all secure around each corner no water is going anywhere water you're not going anywhere anyway so that's now sealed inside finally a reverse camera is now into my boot looks integrated as well looks absolutely flush like factory OEM plus kind of look you know get some light into that set people reverse camera has now been installed that the wires have been run through there from here over here next this power cable here connect that to Let this into that um, and then run that through next now connect to one of these as well too and then run that through into here pop this out run that through into there pop that out as well run that through and then we'll find a way from there because this is the bit I'm not sure about but I'll find a way you can actually take the seat off from here I found out how to take the seat off I just literally just started pulling look at this and then you just take the seat out like that the whole seat like that now as you can see um, I'm gonna need to you can see why is it already through here and we've got two 14 millimeter bolts there so that's a 14 millimeter bolt there's one there as well you're gonna also need an extension tool as well um, in order to remove it because if you use your normal one it won't reach it'll just be like that so you need an extension tool Hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning people. It is day two. My gosh, it took me too long yesterday doing taking out things that were necessary. But anyway, I've learned a lot now. So this is what I've done now. So as you can see, the wire runs from in there. I took it out from here. I'm going to um I'm going to put some tape around it so it would stick on from there there's no way you can actually run it from there to fit an RCG cable so much exposure there's no way you can fit like an RCG cable into this hole here so I'm gonna pop this back in again um, so instead I'm just gonna try and make it look tidy from here um, and that way it just comes from there straight into, into here um, pop that all out and then I've run it around from there so that's the wire comes from there it's gonna go inside there too and that's where the back seats are so I'll pop that through I'll show you around now and as you can see it's running through from there so pull the wires from there next I'm going to do I'm going to take this out and put it underneath the carpet run it through from there all the way to there and then straight through from there it's been <laughs> It's been a long day. It's been a long day all day yesterday. But yeah, it's gonna be done. Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna run these wires underneath the carpet. So first of all, I'm gonna to need to pop this out. Let's pop that out, just gonna do that. And then afterwards, pop all this like that. This tabs all around here. Right, so next thing we need to do is get these wires. So what I've done is I've pulled the thread, pulled this wire enough, and I've also got a hanger. Hanger is going to be very important because you're going to need to thread this there underneath this bit here, and then you'll be able to get into this bit there. Once I get it through, that's it. I can remove the hanger. So next, I'm going to um, pull this out. So this comes out like that, and then you can get the wires from here. So you tuck them under from there, from there like that, tuck them under like that, like that, there we go, and we just keep threading it through really. And then we're going to take this bit out as well, so that comes out right easy like that, there we go, Move to the side. Next, we're going to need to pop this in between where those wires are. 
so we're going to need to pop that into there. So in order to route the wires through into there, um, you're going to need to get access. Oh, by the way, that's where your fuse box is. So in order to get, in order to route the wires through there, you're going to have to take down the glove compartment. So to do that, open it, of course. Then you have this spring here. You have a spring here. All you need to do is push that back. Make that click noise like that. You have two tabs, so you have that one there and that one there. So you push this one back like that. And then this one around to it. There we go. So to finally do that, to complete it, push the, the, the one tab of that side too as well. Push that like that. And then you just drop that like that. And there we have it. We've got access to, uh, um, to where you can wrap the cables. Also, to mention as well, that's your fuse box. That's how you get access to your fuse box as well. Um, so, yeah, we're going to wrap the cables through the back here, through there, and into inside there. So, we're going to need to disconnect the climate control and also all my other functions too. Two tabs at the back, move them, as shown in the previous video. Now, I haven't locked down here, so I've, I've left this unclipped, but usually there's a screw there and a screw there that you're meant to unscrew, and then you're meant to pry this, but since I didn't do that, there's no need. Take out the radio to unclip the port. And also, yeah, I'm gonna unclip this as well, just in case. There we go, that's now unclipped too. Set that aside. Now, this wire, I'm trying to figure out, bear with me just a second. So, as you can see, the wires need to come through from there. Um, right now, I've kind of got stuck, but I'm sure you can probably see something somewhere as I wrap my way through. But give me a moment, I'm just going to wrap my way through for it. Right people, I've managed to bring the wire finally into the main bit. Hey! So, what I'm going to do is now I need to remove the actual cable, um, sorry, the hanger. So, as you can see, I popped it through here. Now that's the bit where you, um, what do you call it? Um, that's the bit that closes this, but at least this, the thing that closes it is very sort of soft, so it's made out of, it's, there's some like, suede sort of feeling that so it won't really cut the wire and um, so I ran that through there into there so I'm now going to remove the hanger and then test to see if the thing works and wire it into the actual thing so since we've put this through there, since we put this through there the wires on here I'm going to test to see if it closes perfect still closes so the wire is now flushly tucked into there now it's time to test the turn the head unit on Get this wire here, wire it in, and see if it works. My gosh, it's been a long day. Let's do this. So, to remove this, I'm gonna have to wedge in between here, and you pull it forward. There we go. Comes out like that. Then, grab the wire. There we have it. Set this aside. Okay, next we're going to need to take the head unit out. Yes, we have it. And as you can see, this is the camera wire. You see the camera plus 12. That's the camera wire. I've already stripped it out. Um, so, and I put the blue bob in because obviously I wasn't using it at the time. Just to test it, so I've tested it. So it's time to test it and show you guys to see if it works. Right, so I've just threaded this wire here, stripped off the plastic. Now I'm going to thread this right through. Just trying to make it as straight as I can. Inside. Get this one here. Connect that through. These are connected. So I've just temporarily connected this. Um, I'm going to seal this up properly after I'm done. The camera wire is now connected. And now I need to do the one at the boot too. So I'm going to quickly run and do that now. And then hopefully the camera should work. So next is to do this one. Pop 
this one into there and then test it out. So that's now secure. Time to turn the car on and see if it works. This is the moment of truth, people. Will it work? Will it work? Reverse. Jeez! It works like a charm. My gosh. And you've got all these different things as well. My gosh. This is so amazing. Okay, let me just Let me actually reverse now. No sound because obviously I've disconnected the radio and everything, but that people is the reverse camera installed. Jeez! Finally, another mod that was ridiculously annoying and long, but it's now done. And I know I know how to install reverse cameras, so people, that is it. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna show you the whole way how I route the whole car and everything, and then yeah, finish it off from there. Let's do this. So people, <coughs> wire is here. So once you cover this up, you won't really see much of it. Of course this would be sealed up as well. So it looks like it's part of, sort of, part of the car sort of thing. And then now we go right through there. And it goes into the back seat. So I'm gonna tidy all this up now. And I'm gonna show you the finished product. So the boot is all sealed up nicely. There. Still closes normally as well. Opens normally. Everything's tucked into place. All the bolts are open as well. All wires are hidden too. As you can see, you can't see any from there. All from there. As you can see, the seat is back into place. No wires. All. Everything's all hidden. Compartment, no wires there. System boots on normally. And that's how we do it, people. Installed. People, here it is. It's now been all put back together. Got my settings on. Start this car up. Guys. Oh my! Hey! What's that? Hey! Do not! Do, do not! No! 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 Do the set. Hey! Hey! Do not go anywhere, anywhere, anywhere! Hey! What's a banger? My gosh, people, it is finally done and I'm looking so rough right now. Oh my gosh. Finally, we've installed the reverse camera. Hey. One second. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. As soon as you put it in reverse, it initiates that straight away. That is so good. You got your, you even got your sensors as well. So if you have, if you have front split sensors, you can you'll, you'll activate that as well. And then obviously I've got rear sensors, and it even shows you how close you are to something. So if I was to go back now, it picks it up. And also, as I turn my steering wheel, the tracking turns as well. So that's it for the tracking. And that is amazing. I think you can do some more as well. Was a banger. Hey! Hey! My gosh! It works people, it actually works and it works amazingly as well. The quality is amazing too. I'm just gonna put my rear seats back, otherwise there'll be no one jumping at the back seat. <laughs> anyway people, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. For the day one subscribers, thank you again so much for the support. I appreciate every single one of you and all the new ones coming too. 
thank you people watching the channel and the video and people i will see you on the next one peace Now I, now I, now I, now I, now I.